students, staff, friends and candidates. Thank you all so much for tuning into watching our upcoming elections results announcement videos. We really appreciate the time and effort that every candidate has put into their campaign this year and would like to thank all students who have voted in this year's elections. Our elections results announcements will look slightly different this year, as you can imagine. Um, we'll be posting the elections results through six videos on our Students' Union Facebook page. So tonight we are going to elect six full-time officer positions and 11 part-time officer positions. So we've had 41 fantastic candidates running to be your next full-time officer positions or part-time officer positions. So just to give you an overview, we've had 1,692 voters who have cast 18,496 votes in total in the elections this year. And it's great to see how many students that have really got on board with the elections this year. So we'd just like to thank you all. So here's a little summary of what you'll see tonight. So we are going to announce the results in the following order. Firstly, we will have the BME and Environment part-time officer positions um, with the sports officers. Next will be the Ethics Officer and General Secretary positions and the Welsh Affairs position. Then we will have the International and LGBT Plus part-time officer position for Singleton, um, alongside the Societies and Services Officer position. Next will be the Mental Health Awareness and Students with Disabilities part-time officer and the Welfare Officer position. Then we'll have the Trans and Non-Binary and Women's part-time officer position alongside the President position. And finally, the Mature Students Part-Time Officer and Education Officer position. So these groups will be announced through a series of videos that will be posted from 7 o'clock onwards, as I said, on our Students' Union Facebook page. Okay, so next we'll explain how the voting system and counting the results work. So every student has been asked to vote in order of preference. So first, choice, second, third, etc. So, for example, if we have three presidential candidates and Ron. So, in the first round, we've got Louis, we've got David Attenborough, we've got Cersei Lannister and we've got Ron. In the first round, Cersei Lannister got 300 votes and then was eliminated, unfortunately. Her votes were then redistributed amongst the other candidates and this then repeats until we have a winner. So, and the winner this year is... David Attenborough. David is our next president. 